keeps us warm. We can spend the night. Hello, friends. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome to my Christmas decorating part one. I'm so excited for this year's Christmas decorating. If you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know I absolutely love Christmas. I go all out inside. Bobby goes all out outside. And this year with the house being finally completed, I can have all my envisions of what I pictured this house for Christmas coming true. And I have to say it came out even better than I imagined and I am so excited. I started out um, obviously taking down all of my fall stuff, but don't worry, this is not the main part of the video but I like to show where it starts before. Um, but then we are going to be working in the family room in the front entry for two reasons. One is the one thing I was most excited about decorating for. And two, it gives me the motivation to keep going because when you decorate like I do, it is one of those things that at first it is very overwhelming when your house is full of the Christmas bins. But the difference this time is that ever since July, I've been happier than I have ever been. It's safe to say that my love for you is true. I was very excited because I was able to downsize my fall this year. I have been going through each holiday getting rid of stuff. Um, last year, I didn't, one, I didn't decorate for fall because we were still doing so many renovations. Um, but two, I didn't really downsize my things because we weren't done with the renovations even when Christmas came around. And I didn't want to get rid of stuff that I could possibly use this year. Um, but this year I have been definitely downsizing my stuff. So I was able to get all of my fall decor into just one bin, which made me very happy and definitely made Bobby happy because it was a couple less bins in the garage for him. Um, but so here is the before of our family room and the front entry. Very bare because I didn't, didn't even have like my year-round decor up. This is just plain Jane. Uh, we did still have the Halloween window stuff up. I leave that up. Bobby handles our windows, so when he takes it down, it'll come down, but you are going to see that in the background. Um, but I am starting on the fireplace first. This was the area I was the most excited about. I have this Christmas village, which was a hand-me-down from Bobby's grandmother, and it is my most prized possession, the thing that I look forward to decorating with every single year between the memories of it and just how beautiful it turns out. I absolutely love it, and I knew that once we got these built-ins, this is exactly where I wanted to do it. I will say though, this took a long time to put together, like hours, because I was trying to figure out layout, um, and then I decided I want wanted lights behind it. Um, I was excited though, because I saw on a reel the other day, someone that just used the boxes for the different levels which was genius. I don't know why I never thought about that. Like you're always trying to figure out like, well, you know me, canned goods or risers or all the stuff because I don't want it all flat. And then I saw that reel and I'm like, how did I never think of this? This is genius. Plus I save all the boxes because I would love to hand this collection down to my kids when um, they're older and I'm at a point of I'm not decorating like this anymore. So I save all the boxes because I want everything to be in perfect condition, just like we got from Bobby's grandma. Um, but here you can see is when I decided that I wanted lights in the background. So everything came down and then went back up. Uh, this changes a lot throughout the time of doing this. At first, I just had the lights hanging there. But then as I started going, I didn't like the look of them. So I do end up covering up the lights and you'll see how I do that a little bit later. Christmas present, we open up our door. Now, 
Now, one thing I have definitely learned over the years of decorating is you have to trust the process and you may change things up a lot. Um, this is definitely something that at first there was like things I didn't like, but it, it takes like doing it and then stepping back and looking and just figuring it all out. Um, this shelf right here though, I was really excited about decorating. These are houses that when we went up to Wisconsin this summer, Bobby's grandma found them. They were a collection that she hadn't given us yet. And it's the Disney collection. So everything is from the Disney collection except the little fountain that I bought this year. Um, it's a real working fountain. It's so cute and I figured it worked perfectly with this Disney setup. So I wanted to do a shelf just for the castle and all the little Disney buildings. I will say for this Disney collection though, I wish it was a little bit like screamed more Disney. But no matter what, I'm excited about later on, you will see that we also have Minnie and Mickey to go up there as well. Christmas presents, we open up our door. For the ghost of Christmas presents, we So in one of my last videos, I mentioned how much I love seeing how different people decorate. I am definitely one of these people that even if something isn't my personal style, like I wouldn't do it in my home, I can appreciate all the different styles. Um, I think I specifically talked about Amanda from This Crazy Life, like her holiday decor turned out so pretty this year. Um, but it's more neutral, where I like a Hallmark-style Christmas decor. Like, I want my house to look like it could be in a Hallmark movie. Um, but I got a message saying how it would be really cool to see other people's holiday decor, meaning you guys as viewers, and I absolutely love that idea. So if you want your holiday decor showed on YouTube... I would love if you guys send me pictures on Instagram and I will share those photos. Um, obviously, if you don't want to, just don't send me photos. But I think that would be awesome to see everybody's different um, traditions and decor and things like that. Um, so I would love if you guys would do that. Now I'm just putting in the finishing touches. I feel like these little trees and fluff are like a necessity when you are um, decorating your villages. I just love the way it pulls it all together and the little people. Here I was trying to disguise a lot of the cording with this fluff, but like I said, later on I do something to disguise the behind. Um, so you don't see all the light cords and things like that. And it definitely turns out way better um, than this just fluff going around. But I do love having the fluff to give it that really snowy white Christmas. I know a lot of people when they move to Florida like the kitschy um, Florida Christmas decor. And I just, I can't do that. I can't do the seahorses and mermaids and blues and things like that. I still want that cozy, snowy, white Christmas um, when it comes to all of my decor. So even if I'm going to look outside and it's blue skies and green and not that traditional um, Wisconsin winter, I definitely want the inside to still feel that very traditional, cozy, white Christmas. I would love to know when you decorate for Christmas. Growing up, it was always tradition to decorate after Thanksgiving. 
Um, my parents would always, literally the day after Thanksgiving, we would go shopping for a Christmas tree. My parents still do live Christmas trees, so they still do it the day after Thanksgiving. Um, and it was always a really fun tradition. As I got older and had a family of my own, I love decorating early. Um, it takes me a while to like get my house fully decorated and I just love having it like done perfectly come December. That way when December rolls around, it's baking cookies and doing all those other fun things for the holidays and not the couple weeks of decorating that it normally takes um, with the inside and outside. So that is why I personally love decorating early. I also don't normally host Thanksgiving, so I don't have that like pull feel of, oh, I have to have my house all fall for Thanksgiving. Here you can see where I though was disguising the lights behind. Um, don't worry, I do adjust it more so you don't see all the stuff. Once it's all starts getting pulled together, it really does disguise all that lighting. And I just took those snow blankets and put that over it. So that is how I ended up disguising it all. Uh, doing the cords on this side was a little bit easier because instead of connecting them and trying to weave them down like I did on the first side, I weaved them down like one at a time and it made my life so much easier. <laughs> the wiring is definitely the area that like takes the longest to try and figure out. And for most things, I don't figure out wiring. I let Bobby do that. But when it came to the Christmas village, I did all the wiring on this. As you guys know, Bobby is a pro at figuring out wiring <laughs> when it comes to outside or our windows and things like that. So I normally have him do it. Um, but here you can see if there was any cords that were still hanging out, that's when I brought the fluff around um, to disguise it a little bit more. Plus it gives it more dimension in the decorating. So I would use the fluff no matter what to give those big snow pile feels. Now, I knew this year I wanted to put the tree in front of the window. Luckily, these couches are super easy to move around uh, because they are in sections. So I just moved that out. I did do a quick vacuum of everything. I didn't show all that because I feel like when it comes to these decorating videos, like the fun part is watching the decorating, not all the cleaning. Um, but that was also done as well. Um, but moving on to the mantle, I always, last year I went a lot more on this mantle because I didn't have the built-ins. So I had, if you can imagine, even more stuff on here. Um, but this year I did want to simplify it a little bit because you had so much going on with the village around it. Um, but I, like I said, I love decorating this fireplace area. It's one of my favorites. Um, in our first house, we had a fireplace, and I absolutely loved it. In our second house, we had no fireplace, and I missed it so much. So having a fireplace again and a mantle to decorate, it's one of my favorite things. And this room is obviously a room that gets a lot of use out of it. So every night when we're hanging out as a family, being able to have the fireplace on and the twinkling lights, like that to me is so magical. Um, and every morning, especially since I get up first to take the kids to school and everything. So every morning being able to come out, have my cup of coffee, turn on the news, but still have the tree and the lights on. I actually have the lights all on timers. So they turn off at night, but then at about 6 a.m. they turn back on. That way when I get up and the boys get up for school, we have all the twinkling lights and everything. Bobby got those uh, Grinch little things so I put those out Freya loves them but I might have to figure out a better area for them or a better way to make them stand up they don't have the weight to them they're plastic so they were they kept falling over on the blanket which I don't love um 
this tree i love this tree i found this tree at home depot last year it's got a light flocking to it so nothing too crazy um, but it's also glittery which you can't see too too well on camera but it is gorgeous in person and it has a more realistic look to it which i personally really like there's a super trendy like all over tiktok christmas tree right now um that's also at home depot which is beautiful the twinkly lights on it is absolutely gorgeous but when i saw it in person it looked very plasticky um so one well i guess i don't need a christmas tree anyway um but if you like a really full lit tree go check that one out at home depot but otherwise this one with the glitter and stuff that i found last year i absolutely love because the lights in it sparkle off the sparkle in the tree but it still has a really realistic look to it biggest thing with any fake tree though is take your time to fluff yes it takes a long time um, but it does make a massive, massive difference if you make sure to literally touch every branch and fluff it out. Frozen, catch me rolling. I'm the chosen. Snow is falling. Elfie's calling. Check my list twice. Most of y'all done. Sleigh bells ringing. Diamonds blinging. Carol singing. Favorite season. Also, if you've been watching Freya in the background, obviously she's my little shadow. So the only way that I could keep her out of a video is I would have to send her to grandma and grandpa's house or if she's outside with Bobby. So you always see her around. Um, but I want you guys to count how many outfit changes she has. Lately, it has been a lot. Now, to give her some credit, part of it is the weather. Like, we wake up in the morning, and it's a little bit cooler, and then the sun comes out, and it gets hot, and plus, she's just a diva, and she is constantly, constantly changing her clothes. Um, but yeah, she had a ton of outfit changes in this day. So I decided to do something a little bit different with the ribbon this year and I ended up putting it in um, and bowing it out like I normally do but then I let the end of it which likes to like twist and curl onto itself just kind of hang there and I really loved the way it turned out this year. So I just connect the top and then about halfway through, I push it in to give that little bubble. And then I just emphasized that little twirl that it was doing down the tree. And I thought it turned out really, really pretty. I love using ribbon in my tree. I feel like it's a really good filler. Um, and I like a very neutral tree. Um, we do more fun stuff in like the kids' rooms or things like that. But this main tree, I always like to be just very woodsy neutral natural all of those things um you'll see i add some picks later to me picks are huge for the tree and i don't mean like picks when it comes to ornaments i do have those also but like actual uh, out you'll see them a little bit later i show a close up but it gives more texture more fill to the tree and it changes that like very straight triangle tree when you have artificial trees and gives it i think a more natural look to it um i would love the idea of doing a real tree every year but it is not realistic our dogs 100 percent would be going into the base to drink the water and end up knocking everything over um so as long as bobby and i have been married we've done artificial trees because it's just for us personally not realistic with the animals
Also, when I'm decorating the tree on my coffee table, I try and organize out the different pieces. Um, and I'll do like one category at a time. So I did my ribbon and now I'll do the picks to make sure it's all even. Um, and then go into the different um, items. That way I can try and keep it as even as possible throughout it. So that is something I would recommend is if you can like organize out your pieces and if it's going from larger to smaller or whatever it is, it will help to keep it even if you keep it in category. Um, these next balls are my larger ones, which is why I'm going in with them next. And I, once again, I just love the way they look. They have a more natural look to them. They're not that traditional Christmas ornament look. And I really like that feel when I'm doing the tree. Like I said, I have a lot of fun stuff throughout. My tree is like my baby though. And this is the one area that I like to have it a very specific way. You guys have seen um, last year, the boys have a really fun tree in their room. Unfortunately, I need to get, an, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to get a new one for Freya. She had one last year and it ended up getting ruined. Um, and this year she's got really big doll houses that would go where the tree is. So I don't know if I'm going to get her a new tree this year or if I'm going to wait and then just do other stuff in her room for Christmas. I'm still trying to figure that out. Oh, talking about Freya, I am really happy. Freya has gone now about a week, maybe a little bit longer than a week. Um, and she has been so good at potty training. It's like something clicked and she's good now, uh, which is exactly how it was with the boys also, where they were like, no, 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 no. And then something clicked and they were like, just all for it. Um, it was actually on a Sunday before we were going to my aunt and uncle's house for our Sunday family dinner. And I just let her know. I'm like, well, you got to use the potty if you want to go to Uncle Chad and Aunt Les's. And she used the potty because she wanted to go. And ever since then, she's been fine. Weirdest thing. Um, like I said, I know the boys did that also. But I have been so happy. She has been doing so, so good, which is also why I was blurring before with her playing by the coffee table because she is not so good at the modesty thing yet. She's still learning. When we go out, we put tights or leggings on her, so it's not a big deal. But obviously, at home, it doesn't really matter. Snow is falling down, all the colored lights lighting up this town. And as I walk outside, hear the Christmas choir sing, Merry Christmas to you. I would love to know in the comments below what your aesthetic for Christmas is. There are so many fun, different things that people do. Um, some of my favorites that I watch are like the people that go like all out on the gingerbread theme. I love that. Um, obviously, any of the more simple aesthetic, it's one of those things of I love that. Just not in my house. <laughs> um, but Amanda does a fantastic job at that simple, simple Christmas. Um, I know uh, Ashley from Till Vacuum Do Us Part does a really good job at that more simplistic Christmas vibe. Um, but I personally am drawn to, like I said, that Hallmark Christmas style. Uh, if you watch... Um, one of my really, really good friends on here is Jessie from Jessie at Home. Her house is always stunning for Christmas. You have to go check out her videos, especially she has that like dream front entry with that two-story front entry, huge Christmas tree. It's my dream is to be able to have that massive front entry Christmas tree and she has it and the stairwells that she does the garland. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, now I am putting together our reindeer. I have some big like statement pieces in our house and I 
love these. I actually have some footage here in a little bit of Freya with Santa. She last year was terrified of Santa. This year, her favorite thing. I have listened to him about a million times every single day because she wants to play and dance with Santa. You gotta love her dance moves. <laughs> I absolutely love the kids' reactions with decorating. I know for me, like, my mom being big into decorating for the holidays is like a core memory. And that's always my thought every year when I'm decorating is this being like a core memory for the kids. Something that they love and are going to share with their kids one day and their spouses one day. Um, so watching her just so excited about all of it and the boys loved it because every time I've decorated, it's pretty much been when they've been at school. You can see at this point they were home, um, but they got to come home and see pretty much the entire family room transformed and they loved it. I've also been doing some decorating like in the morning before Freya got, gets up and when she gets up, she comes out and she just makes the biggest smile and it's always her going, wow clapping her hands and telling me I did a good job and how beautiful everything is actually she doesn't say beautiful she just says pretty full she has made her own words and if she likes what you're wearing or she likes something it is pretty full so that is her compliment almost every morning when she comes out and sees something new decorated for Christmas So I feel like twinkle lights are so important during the holidays. So I've got all my twinkle lights on Amazon. Um, I love these. They, I want to find ones with better timers on, like the type where you turn them on and they'll stay on for like six hours and then turn off and turn back on at that exact same time the next day. Um, but I haven't been able to find them and I also haven't been like crazy looking because I do have some. But that would be nice because it saves the battery life um, instead of me forgetting that they're on and they just stay on overnight. Uh, so that is something I am on the lookout for. Otherwise, I just make sure I have a bunch of batteries on hand. Uh, this candle that I put in there is one of those candles where once you turn it on, it remembers that time and will turn back on throughout the um, the month or months so the batteries last so much longer with that 
So, yeah. This Santa I did not put out last year, but this is another one that I got from Bobby's grandma. And I think he is so cute. We definitely changed up a lot of the locations of our decorations, which I do every single year. I feel like that's really important. Instead of going out and spending a bunch of money every single year to change stuff up, just moving stuff around can give you that big change in your house. So that's personally what I love to do. Obviously, we have a lot of decorations, but over the years, like half of my stuff is things that we've purchased and the other half are things that we've gotten as hand-me-downs from my parents, uh, Bobby's parents, grandparents, and things like that, which I personally really, really love the hand-me-down stuff because that's the stuff like as kids, that's what we remember. We remember these pieces that we saw growing up. So I love having those in the house and then having some new pieces. I am changing up the pillows this year though, because one thing I hate is how much room pillows take up. So I am changing to slowly doing pillow covers over actual pillows and you can find really nice pillow covers on amazon nowadays but we are about to get to all the before and afters and i love the before and afters and don't like talking too much through them so i'm gonna let you guys enjoy but i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you like comment and subscribe it really does help out my channel but i will shut my mouth now and let you enjoy these befores and afters Well, once again, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Just remember, this is part one of my Christmas decorating. I still have a lot more to do in the house. So if you're new, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. But I will see you next time. Bye.